Hey, welcome back. This is Carlos Cavallo from DatingAdviceGuru.com. Do you feel like you're in control? Well, today's topic is gonna hit right on that one. Today, we're gonna talk about seven signs that you're in a controlling relationship. And as always, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you know when the next one comes out. And really, be sure to stick around for number seven because that's the trick of the bunch. If there's one kind of a relationship you wanna get out of fast, it's a controlling relationship. This is a relationship where the person in charge is a personality that can only handle a relationship that they can control. And in case you aren't familiar with this, control is an illusion. The idea of control sounds cool, but it's highly unlikely that you're anywhere near as in control as you think. And just so you know, yeah, I used to be a little controlling back in my early days of dating, so I'm pretty familiar with this one. Let's jump into number one. Controlling relationship sign number one is he's watching everything. It might show up as a criticism or might be a weird kind of surveillance you feel on you all the time. You might feel like cameras are on you all the time. This is another one of those insidious behaviors that can start out very small where he says, sweetie, you mind not leaving your floss on the counter? And then before you know it, you've got a full-blown tyrant on your hands. You know, I need you to keep the Blu-ray discs in alphabetical order. Oh, and the cereal boxes. Or it could be criticism of you, your friends, or your family. Really anything in your life that he doesn't like gets put under the microscope. Controlling relationship, sign number two. It's flattering, but one of the most outstanding indicators of a controlling personality is that they often wield their most potent weapon in your relationship, jealousy. I mean, jealousy feels cool every so often. Who doesn't like knowing that they can have that kind of impact on their partner and that this person cares that much? But the key is that being jealous once in a while, not all the time. If it's regular to the point where you start avoiding going out and even being with other people because you're worried about how he's going to react, you probably got a controller on your hands. Controlling relationship sign number three, guilty. In a controlling personality's mind, you're always guilty until you prove yourself innocent. They're very good at making you feel like you've done something wrong, even if you haven't. It can be the intentional flirting they think you're doing, or the lunch you had with a friend that he didn't know about, or what you did with the special coffee mug his mother gave him. He seems to have a ready case to try and convict you with before you even walk in the door. This one often leads into other controlling behaviors that show up and increase their control over you, like snooping and spying. And before you know it, you could be living in your own little private hell. Be especially careful if he justifies it because he's been hurt before or some other excuse that seems to justify the snooping, but doesn't. Controlling relationship sign number four, eggshells and hand grenades. There's a certain level of volatility in a controlling personality. They not only want to control, but they lose all of their self-control when they're triggered. I call this walking on eggshells and hand grenades because that's exactly what you feel like you're doing. You have to walk delicately to avoid their anger, but then they still go off at random intervals like a grenade that's just waiting without a pin. If you feel like you're constantly in a state of near anxiety or full-blown anxiety, you gotta carefully inspect what's going on in your relationship. A truly healthy relationship makes you feel calmer and more settled, not edgy and anxious. Controlling relationship sign number five, shake your foundation. Controllers love to keep you feeling unstable on any ground but their own. So they'll, they'll use a whole bunch of tactics like cheap ridicule where they mock you and tease you in a way that feels a little bit dirty. They like to push you back on your heels. They want to make you feel inadequate around them, preferring to, well, that you understand you're lucky to have them around to set you straight. Or beating you down with arguments. You might fight so often that you start to predict them in advance and you start to even give up before they even begin clever little psychological tactics to keep you feeling shaky. Controlling relationship sign number six, don't get better. Another tactic the controller likes to use is to undermine your sense of self by sabotaging your efforts to be better. For example, they might try to undermine your diet and weight loss plan because if you succeed, you'd feel better about yourself. In fact, you might feel so much better that you realize this guy's a jerk. And then you move on to somebody that's better for you and well, you can see where that would be a threat to him, right? And finally, controlling relationship sign number seven, it's getting mighty lonely in here. Another one of the controller's super strategies is that of getting rid of any outside influences that might be a threat. 
They try to isolate you. And this is another one of those strategies that starts out small but builds up into a really big problem. And you might not notice it until you've reached that problem stage. It might start out as him telling you that he doesn't like that guy you hang out with at work or he's concerned with how much your brother calls or your mom. What's happening here is he wants to take away your network of outside influence so that he's all you got. Now the most important thing you can do in any relationship is to go in with your eyes wide open. The best prevention against this kind of controlling relationship is to have a complete plan of how you're going to handle your relationship. Most people just wing it when it comes to romance. And you know what? Their results show the effectiveness of that. If you just wing it, you're more likely to marry somebody that is not a good fit. You want to avoid that problem and you want to know exactly how to get the man of your dreams interested in a forever relationship with you? Go on over to datingadviceguru.com forward slash forever. Just open a new tab. Don't leave YouTube. They hate it. They feel abandonment issues. Go on over, open a new tab. Go to datingadviceguru.com forward slash forever. And again, as always, make sure you like us on all the social media you can. Right now, like this video, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so that you make sure you know when the next one's coming out. Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from Dating Advice Guru. As always, live and love with passion.